Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to talk about Red Dead Redemption 2 uh, again. And <clears throat> this time, I want to talk about how black people would be treated in the game. Now, last uh, Red Dead Redemption, the first one, I think it's a place, I think the year was um, 1914 and 17. Or my, my, um, I think it was 1911, actually, and 1914. 1914, after you beat the game and John Morrison died. Spoiler alert. Um, but, 1911 before that, um, well, at least 1914, may have been a little bit later, and I might be wrong, it might have been 1917, I think it was 14 or a little bit later than that, that's when my mom died, but, anyway, uh, I want to talk about how black people would be treated, I'm going to tell you that after the Civil War, there were hard feelings about black people being free, Mostly how about Confederates, there's some Northerners that wouldn't like it, didn't like it, didn't agree with it. But, mostly Confederates hated the Blacks for free now. And, that was really clear. If you look up the history during Reconstruction, you'll see how Blacks were treated, how the uh, Ku Klux Klan was formed, and all that. But I'm not here to talk about all uh, history. I kind of am. But, anyway... In Red Redemption 2, I want to see black people be treated differently from a historical point. I don't want it to be outright and just over the top, but I want it to be like Mafia 3. Mafia 3, you're mixed. Back then, if you were mixed, you're considered black. You're not considered white, you're considered black. And that was not good. I'm supposed to be pure white. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you that... It was likely Texas where Red Dead Redemption took place. And I'll go ahead and put up an image on screen right now to show you why I think it was Texas. The reason I brought up Texas is because that was a rebel state. That was one of the states that rebelled from the Union and fought for the Confederates in the Civil War. Confederates obviously fought for, not fought for, but they were more, black people were not equal. They were to be treated as such, not equal like crap pretty much. That's what most Confederates thought. But, uh, anyway, Texas is the most likely spot, I'll, um, tell you that, uh, for Red Redemption, I'm not sure, I couldn't find anything about, I couldn't find anything, I didn't do, I did a quick Google search, didn't really want to click on anything else, but, Texas is the most likely spot, in my opinion, because you have the longest border with Mexico, because it was both countries, you have the longest border with Mexico, but Arizona is also another place. I don't know if they were rebels. I think that I don't think they were escaped them. Might have been. I'm not sure. But if they were, it was probably rebels. But um, Arizona is also another spot because they have a small river that borders Mexico. Because there was a river that separated it. So it's one of those people, one of those places, or it might have been um, New Mexico. But the area, like the, where the game take, looks like or takes place and all that, it definitely look, kind of blends in the climate and the uh, land, uh, land features from all those places, but, um, crap, what I was gonna say, oh, but then, right there is where reconstruction would take place, I think, I'm not sure, because I don't think Texas really had any battles during the Civil War, if so, I haven't heard of them, but, um, reconstruction definitely did take place, and blacks were not treated well by Confederates, or former Confederates, and even up north, they weren't treated that well either. They were treated like crap, uh, hung, they had no rights. That's why Jim Crow took place, which is segregation pretty much, where you could do that. Uh, but I want to see such treatment as that. Like if uh, you have someone that's black, say you're walking in the same saloon or something in Red Dead Redemption 2, I want to see them get thrown out or see them kind of get intimidated to leave or something. Not because that's what I agree with, but because that's historically correct and what I think would really put the setting of the game in your mind. Um, I also want to see that because it wouldn't really match the setting if it wasn't like that, but that's part of history of America that you got to deal with. But um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, like I said, I do want to see this from a history standpoint, not because I like it or agree with it, but... It, to me, it would add more to the game. I want to see if, say, you have a black friend during the campaign or someone that you associate with or something. I want to see you get treated worse 
because they're talking to a black person, or I want to see, and I want to see them get treated bad because they're talking to you, and they're black, so they automatically get treated bad, especially being that the game takes place in the ni early early 1900s, not probably Red Dead Redemption 2 probably won't take place after 1925, definitely not. By then, most of the West had died down. Some uh, cities were still Wild West, and some areas were, but by then, most things died down. But anyway, uh, because of that, t the time frame, it's probably going to be where they're treated worse. Because uh, Red Dead Redemption 1, I think, there's a couple black people, and they were treated well. That's not what would have happened. They would have been treated like crap, intimidated, and all that, and had a lot less rights. I mean, just look through history, of, through American history, you'll see it. Now, it's different, obviously. <clears throat> but, like I said, I just want to see that from a historical standpoint, standpoint. Hope you enjoyed the video. Those are my thoughts. See you guys in the next one. Please like and subscribe, and bye. Bitch, I wanna party like